Gill Theatre's original production, Ellie Ellie, delves into the dynamics of a family waiting for the return of one of its sons, a captured soldier. Let's take a backstage peek at rehearsals, hear how the cast interprets the characters, and how the play develops towards its opening night. You can't wait till I'm in your apartment, Ellie. You're shy all of a sudden. I'm tired. Make sure that you are clear what you're saying, because it's not, it, it came all tangled, I didn't know what you were saying. I'll call it because between the accent and the nerves, it tangles. It goes slower. It's about accepting loss. It's about devotion. It's about love. And it's about the painful realities of this country, of our soldiers, of their families, of what we go through every day, and of, unfortunately, the boys that we have that are still missing and the families that have to live with that reality of not knowing, of never knowing, of not being able to come to any sort of closure. I actually wrote it, I think, just after, maybe more like a year and a half, just after the events that had happened, and when people were just starting to realize that we might not get Gilad Shalit back as quickly as we had hoped. Well, it's an interesting piece. Uh, what happens is it's all the family who have been waiting for years to know of the fate of one of their sons and they're all sitting around waiting and this is mostly about the family rather than about the son that's missing. I read the script and I thought it was extremely powerful, very, very challenging. That was a part that I've never played before. The strong mother, yes. Uh, also the detached mother. The mother who is who can't show her emotions to the, child, to the children who are there at the time. She's so absorbed in the one that's missing. Some of the cast are people who have appeared with the Guild for years and years and we trust them implicitly and we're in the same mind. Uh, Danny Roman and Simon Shachat. And some of them are just wonderful, brilliant newcomers. Uh, the lead character, Ellie, is played by Lev, who's an absolutely terrific young actor. And uh, Abital, who just appeared with us in Forum, playing Rotem. And Lydia agreed to come back to us in order to play Miri, the mother, who is really the focal point of the family. And it's just an amazing cast. It's a small cast and very tight-knit. And they really melded with one another. Um, remember to focus on each other more. Especially when one of you is not talking, throw focus. Because otherwise it's distracting. If one of you is sort of doing something else while the other one's talking, it, the audience isn't sure where to look. You know I'm melting for you. I just want to get off my feet a little first. My role is Bree, a very interesting character. Um, first time you meet her, she comes across as your typical airline stewardess. Um, and the play, as the play evolves, she changes, and the relationship changes, and that's what makes the character very interesting. You have the wrong number. No, this is Brigitte and Ellie. You're not Ali here. No, no, no. You have the wrong number. No, Ali here. Hang up the phone. Uh, the lovable, uh, I don't know, elegant sort of asshole. You know. <laughs> The type of per person who is an asshole, but you like him because he's like a charismatic asshole. In terms of your, your inner rage? Uh, it's not an inner rage. I'm just, I come from uh, rock music, which is often driven on, uh, on aggression and energy and high energy. Stints, so I guess it's always there. And the inner sort of high gear. I think it's natural for a person who leaves his, uh, his family, his uh, natural inhabitants leaves everything behind him to, to be revved up. Be, I mean, maybe now you're just trying to pick up the lines on it, but it should be a little bit more flowing, because it's the kind of thing that, ha that you get asked in Israel all the time, oh, when did you come here, what happened? So it's kind of a speech that you know almost by rote. You know? I'm playing the part of Rotem van der Wer. Wrinkly and annoying. <laughs> I don't want it wrinkly and annoying. The reason wrinkly and annoying is because of this. You have a wrinkly and annoying baby, that's why. <laughs> ah, one second. Wash your hands. You haven't eaten since we left the Shalim. In a minute, I'm almost finished the refrain. We've worked with Simon in many productions, and he's mostly known as a comic actor. But 
he brings a tremendously understated feeling of peace into Barack, which is exactly what we were, we were looking for. Pick up your cues! You can drive large buses between the spaces in the line. It's like line. Line. It's opening night, and it's raining. The guild is concerned that not many people will come out to brave the weather. Different stage as well, so it's got to be pretty kind of, you know, kind of sticky, thick makeup kind of. Yeah. God, what's going on upstairs? I hope they don't do a tap dancing class like they did the other night. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Oh. Um, it will be a small house. We knew it was going to be a small house. It's raining, so we have an excuse for it. Now then, the first of two traditions. First of all, Every single production is given to a single person as an acknowledgement of the work they have done, the thought they have brought, whatever. The opening production of Ellie Ellie is given to Jody Shank. Oh no, it's the deadliest thing I've ever seen. Yes, it is. Although the audience is small, it is highly appreciated. Another success for the Guild Theatre Company.